All right, let's get into this one here. So as always, we want to read the question first, okay? Always read the question first. Give yourself the opportunity to just know what the goal is. So here it says, how much should, she, should he be paid for working 30 hours at the same pay rate? Okay, so there are a couple of hints here that we really want to pay attention to. So here we see how much should he be paid, and then we see 30 hours. But then here, this is really the most important part, and I'm really going to circle this same pay rate. Now notice, I don't know what the context is here. I don't, I don't know what's going on. I do know that someone's supposed to get paid for 30 hours and we see that we have the same pay rate. Now, whenever we see the same rate being thrown around, we're pretty much basically comparing the same things in the same way. So this tells me that this is a proportion word problem or it possibly could be, it's very likely that it is. So again, Step number one is always read the question, ask yourself, what is it that we want out of this problem? And we want to know for 30 hours, for 30 hours, the pay is blank, blank dollars, okay? Let me write a proper dollar sign. But yeah, for 30 hours, the pay is whatever. And that's what we're looking for. We're looking for an amount that we're being paid. Now. If we take a look at the context, we're gonna confirm that this is a proportion problem, and here's how. So when we look at the information, just read along with me here. Kendall is paid $42 for eight hours of work. So again, we have the dollar amount for the number of hours worked. So money versus time. Then we see how much money should we have for this much time at the same rate. What I want you to notice is that this is a proportion problem. When you're comparing the same things in the same way, you're dealing with a proportion. And really quick, before we continue my math party people, I know you're enjoying this and you can have thousands of problems just like this in our program. In our program, you have four main things to help you succeed and more. But mainly in our course, you're gonna get access to recorded lessons. You're gonna get access to guided practice just like this. Worksheets that you can print out and try or keep them online. And lastly, speed drills to raise your confidence. That way, when you take the test, there's no test anxiety. There's no pressure because you've been timed before, you know what to do, and that's the feeling that we want. And all of that's included in our program and more. So take a brief moment, click the link here in this video or in the description to learn about the program and then reach out to us if you have any questions. Sign up now, let's get going, and let's get back to the problem. So when we take a look at the information that we have again, let me just circle this in blue, $42 for eight hours. So that means for eight hours, the pay is $42. Now, do you see that right there? We're comparing the same things in the same way. We see that right there. Again, 30 hours, blank dollars. Eight hours, $42. Okay, this is a proportion. We're comparing the same things in the same way. So what I can immediately do is I can set up my proportion so I can go ahead and solve. So here, I'm gonna say that we have, let's say, you know, D dollars, okay? So 30 hours is D dollars. So I can go ahead and say, hey, look, for 30 hours, we get paid D dollars. And then when you set up your proportion, remember, a proportion is basically saying this fraction or ratio equals this fraction or ratio. Remember that ratios and fractions are the same thing, but that's what we're looking at here. And so we have 30 hours over D dollars. And so on top here, we need hours and dollars. We have to compare the same things in the same way. So with that, booyah, we have eight hours here. And then we have $42. And then from here, we'll just go ahead and solve and we're all set. And so as a reminder, when we're solving proportions, there's one simple way to do it, and that's gonna be cross multiply and divide. That's pretty much gonna be the main way that a lot of us uh, look forward to solving them. Now, here's another kind of uh, faster way to do it if you are swift with your calculation skills. So allow me to go ahead and get us started in the right direction for that. So let's go ahead and make it smaller so I can zoom in a little bit. So again, the barbaric way, the main straightforward way that we've all been taught, cross multiply and divide. So we can go ahead and take D times eight, which would be eight D. And then we have 30 times 42. And that's gonna end up being what, right? Oh man, 42 times 30. 
So then you have to go ahead and go to the side. And I'm gonna show you again, this is a straightforward way, but I'm gonna do it again in a second and show you a much faster way with mental math here. Watch this. So 42 times 30. Okay, sounds good. Zero, zero. Then two times three is six. Then four times three is 12. And that's gonna give us that right there. We have one, two, six, zero, okay. Okay, great. And then from there, we'll divide both sides by eight. And again, I'm gonna show you a faster way to do it in a quick moment, so just stay tuned here. So then we have D equals whatever that's gonna be, right? So then we have to go to the side here and do long division. Eight goes into one, two, six, zero. Eight goes into one, zero times. Eight goes into 12 once. And you have to just really you know, work as fast as you can with long division. Then we have the six coming in. Eight goes into 46. That's gonna end up being what? Well, that's gonna end up being five times because eight times five is 40. Then we have the six, drop the zero. Then eight goes into 60. How many times? That's seven. Okay, that's seven times eight is 56. Then we have a four. Bring a decimal there. Eight goes into 45 times. So we have ourselves $157.50. Okay, sounds good. So, boom, right there, and that's D. Right there, spot on. But again, let me show you a much faster way because look at all that work that we just did. You know, is that what you wanna do all the time? Do you wanna do that much work every single time? I doubt that, right? I, I highly doubt that. So let me show you a slightly faster way to get this done. So let me rewrite the proportion that we had earlier. We had 30 over D equals eight over 42. Let's zoom in here. So what's one thing that we know about fractions? Well, there's a lot of things, but one of the things we should know is that we can simplify them. We can simplify fractions. And so here's what I mean. When you take a look at the eight and the 42, are eight and 42 divisible by a certain number? Yeah, we can simplify a two out for sure immediately. We can simplify a two out and then bam, and so what we end up getting is 30 over D equals four over 21. Now from here, what else can we do? Here's one thing that you may not have known. And this stems from the idea of solving equations. Have you ever heard of the idea, whatever you do to one side, you do to the other? Take a look here. I can actually go ahead and do the same thing to the numerators. I can say, hey, I can divide this numerator by two and this numerator by two. Absolutely, that'll absolutely work. And so if we do that, we can end up getting right over here, 15 over D equals two over 21. All I did was divide both numerators by two. Now from there, what else can we do? Well, from here, it looks like all we have left is saying, hey, let's just go ahead and cross multiply and divide. And we might be able to give ourselves a much easier time. That'll work. Another way that we can realize what to do is understand that, hey, look, if we have two going to 21, two going to 21, what relationship is that? Well, two times 10 is 20, two times 10 or 11, 11 will be 22. So that's 10 and a half. The relationship is 10 and a half. So I can go ahead and say, hey, if I understand, again, if I know my mental math, that's times 10 and a half. So I can just write 10 and a half right there. And then I can say here from 15 to D, that's times 10 and a half. And last bad part of people, just like this free video that you're watching, I have more free materials for you and there's no excuse for you not to get them. I have a free practice test that comes with video solutions so you can learn from every single mistake. And on top of that, I have a free class on Zoom once a week, every single week for two hours. So imagine that. You got more free materials than just this YouTube video right over here. Let's keep pushing forward. Sign up right now, and I'll see you in the next class. Let's get started. What's uh, 10 and a half of 15 if I multiply? Well, 15 times 10 is 150. Half of 15 is 7.5. So that'll automatically give me 157.5 or 50 cents. And we can just look at that and look at the comparisons and get our jobs done. Another way that we can see this Another way is looking at that and say, hey, look, two to 21, you gotta multiply that by more than 10. So if I multiply 15 times 10, I get 150. 
So it has to be more than 150. Look at our answers. There's only one answer here that's more than 150. So again, there are different ways to tell. Um, this is just one, two of the many, many, many ways that you can use mental math in conjunction with your knowledge of the math to get things done faster. So I'm looking forward to helping you out in plenty more opportunities just like this. You know I got your back, but let's look forward to the next problem. Keep working hard and keep learning. I'm Coach Anderson, and I'll see you in the next video. My party people, as always, thanks for watching. Please make sure you're subscribed to the channel. That way you can see all the updates that we come out with so you can keep improving. So don't wait, subscribe now, and then while you wait for the next video, look here or there to see a related video that's gonna help you improve even more. Let's keep raising that score, and let's get the job we want. I'll see you soon.